It's another Saturday wrap. The week has gone again. You know, you're doing things and all of a sudden the week is over and the weekend's here and then the weekend's over. Anyway, the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 5th of August 2023. It's actually not raining today. And I've slightly changed this. Uh, a slight addition. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it before, me babbling on about things that happened to me during the week that ends Saturday the 5th of August 2023. Uh, sometimes recorded on the Saturday, this one recorded on the Friday because the foundation's on the TV. Anyway, the thing I've added, and there is a reason for this, is Song of the Week. A song that I've listened to this week that sort of tied in with other things anyway so here we are right the word or phrase of the week to start basball uh, i mean i know uh cricket and i'm not the best cricket fan i don't really follow that at all um but england well did they draw or did they i can't remember they didn't get the uh ashes but they practiced basball which I think is an excellent name, um, but the weather and uh, the England and Wales collapsed and dropped things, and there was a bit of argy bargy, and it was perfect, <laughs> really was. Uh, I enjoyed it. So that's my word for the week. Just as the ashes finish, I'm coming in with Basball. Okay, app of the week. I don't know if you remember last week when I was complaining that on my desktop PC running Windows 10, Microsoft Edge on a number of websites, the body text was tiny and I couldn't create, uh, get rid of it. I couldn't change it. And if I changed the fonts, everything else would go. Um, anyway, Sunday morning, usually run Super Anti Spyware and Malware Bytes. Let's be honest, Super Anti Spyware, they're both the free versions only removes tracking cookies, which, you know, things. Um, Malwarebytes found nothing, but there were a pile of tracking cookies. And then when I turned my machine on on Monday, after the rebooting, everything was back to normal. Removing tracking cookies can't do any harm. And if it finds anything else, there you go. This is the free version, which is on demand, i.e. not running all the time. Uh, I don't know for 100%, but that's only the real thing that I did with it. So, yeah, Super Anti Spyware. My app of the week only runs on Windows. Hmm. Thing of the week. And this ties in with the music of the week or song of the week. This thing of the week, Podcasting 2.0. Okay, so... I'll come on to really what it's about later, but back in 2004, RSS. Uh, I had a program called Feed Demon. It downloaded RSS feeds, and later in that year, they were enclosures, and they were podcasts in the enclosures. And one of the podcasts I was listening to was the Daily Source Code with the podfather, the ex-MTV VJ, Adam Curry. Daily source code. It was neither daily, it didn't contain source code, it was supposed to contain just non uh, ad cap BMI licensed music, but it kind of didn't. But it did have stuff from the Podsafe Music Network. Now, this track, I'm not altogether sure it was because so, it's on Spotify now, and that's certainly licensed. Um, it's a song by the Candy Butchers called What to Do with Michael. I would classify it as indie, but it takes me back to it takes me back to a winter's day, possibly February two thousand and five or six. Uh, I burned a number of episodes of the Daily Source Code onto a CD. Uh, I went to REF Cosford, and I was listening to that going up the M fifty. It's an excellent track. Candy Butchers, what to do with Michael? Contains a naughty word. All the better for it. Anyway, the week that was. Friday night, after this, 
Yeah, you remember last week I had to update all my Apple devices. I forgot about the Apple TV. I had to update the Apple TV. So it was the foundation and another episode of For All Mankind. I have a feeling tonight will be similar, to be perfectly honest. Uh, waking up early on Saturday morning, the Boostergram Ball. Okay, so this is the podcasting 2.0 version of the Daily Source Code. All the music is non-ad... Well, in this country, I suppose it would be Mechanical Copyright Protection Service over there. It's ADCAP, BMI. All this stuff is copyleft. It means it isn't counted as copyright. And you can play it. And under Web 2.0... Oh, Podcasting 2.0 value for value that means if you're listening to the booster grand ball and you like the track that you're listening to you can boost it i.e send them some satoshis and it'll go to the artist if you do it while curry's on it'll go to him but he does a split and bits go to various people it's paying for what you're listening to it's value for value it's putting something back time treasure and talent yeah, and Satoshi's 100th millionth of a Bitcoin. Bitcoin as currency. Bitcoin as value. Bitcoin as a store of wealth. And some really good music. Probably be a track from there next week. Um, and actually the next episode, the episode two, is likely to drop overnight. Saturday in the daytime. Uh, Newport. I started boosting. No Agenda, Boostergram Ball, The New Media Show, and Todd on Geek News Central. 33.33 sats to them all via the Fountain app. Pay hey, those people. Everyone deserves a little something back. Definitely a little something back. And talking of that, in the afternoon, ended up in Weird Dads. That was good. Um, where I learned that people actually... Have a look at my untapped posts. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, probably not me. Um, weird dad, not weird. I've said that before. Some great beers there, fast Wi Fi, and Newport County fans. You know, that's the thing. Uh, Sunday, yes, yeah, Sunday. I did the washing, I washed another toilet roll. I'm still suffering with it. You can't get the stuff off. I'm going to have to hoover my sheets. Hoover, Dyson, you know the thing. It's the second time I need to do a tick list. I'm really disappointed with myself. But what can you do? Mm, there you go. And, yeah, uh, also, clean the machine. Super anti-spyware. I would have thought. Monday. Monday, working from home, boiler service. It was Hannah. Hannah is great. That thing about lowering the temperature of the transfer thing in your boiler? I had a word with her about it. Yes, it does save you money. It saves you money by making your radiators heat up more slowly. In fact, they've got complaints that the radiators don't heat up very much at all. Um, so if you want to be warm and your radiators to heat up quickly and then turn off, Leave the settings as they are. I got that distinct message. And Hannah, if you're watching, I did pass your leaflet on. Thank you very much. Um, right. Um, also Monday, Monday night, ordered my summer onions. <sighs> yeah, that's how quickly the year's gone. I'm eating them at the moment, and now I'm ordering new ones for planting. Come end of September, October. Mm. Tuesday, back in the office back in the tumble, watching a little bit of England playing China in the Women's World Cup. They're very good. It was a great match. They tonked China. Hats off to you. I think the next match is on Tuesday, early in the morning. Impressive. OK, uh, Wednesday. TweetDeck. The new version X Pro is out there. Uh, I managed to swap back to the old TweetDeck. I have a feeling my time is not long on TweetDeck and I certainly won't be paying for X-Pro at all. Which is a shame, because I'm going to miss Twitter. Well, I'm going to miss Twitter in a multi-column way. 
sorry Elon you're just not doing it you don't understand it you just want to create a super app out of it and as Tom said yeah no there you go Thursday two mentions on the new media show despite the fact I only posted one to them the other went to the Geek News Central but they're together so you know you pay for something they thank you it's a virtuous circle anyway we have Storm Anthony, Antony, uh, sounds Italian, uh, unseasonably strong, winds, yellow wind warning, rain all day. Yeah, um, I was going to go to Ponty, but bus stops, Ponty, rain, two buses, whatever, it's going to be Newport. And there's a rugby on 17.30 tomorrow night, Wales, England, in the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. Yeah, in the rain. So that was my week. Um, Got to get some jeans off on the line now to get them dry before tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and some other clothes that still have little bits of toilet roll, clean toilet roll, obviously, on them. And that's me for the week. Bye-bye. Uh, Comments as per normal.